Well, go on. You know my style. You know my style. Yo, you know my style. Dog, you know my style. Go on, act like you know. Today I decided to do a story time. My last story time was a little funny, like about a guy or whatever. But this time I decided to just tell you guys about something a little bit more serious and I feel like you guys can handle it now because it's been a year since I've been on YouTube. And I love you guys so much and I just wanna thank you guys for your support. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I have decided to do a story time today about the time I was in a bomb blast. Like, not no joke, bomb blast, a real bomb blast. Yeah, this was back when I lived in Nigeria and um, I was about seven years old. And okay, this is this is this is what happened. So you know, I was living in Nigeria at the time. We were going to school. Um, it was on a Sunday, and this Sunday was so beautiful. I will never forget. I remember waking up and going to church, and I remember so being so excited because my dad usually worked on Sundays, but this Sunday he was with us, so we were all going to church together. And it was my dad, my mom, and my two brothers and my sister Shadi. So okay, we all went to church. And I remember it just being so nice and I couldn't wait to get out of church because I'm like, I know my dad's gonna take us out to eat. So, and at that time, you know, I was a fatty and I love food and I still do, I ain't never gonna stop loving food. But anyway, so yeah, um, I, I was so happy. I remember after church was off, my dad picked me up out of like the children's class or whatever and I was so happy. And he said, we're going to our uncle's bridal shower or baby shower or something like that. So I remember we all went together for the um, party and it was kind of like, a, and I just remember being so happy because my family was, all of us were together and it was just like, yay, my daddy's here. So um, it was time to leave. I remember it was about three o'clock and we were all going home and my dad said that we were still gonna go to out to eat. So, okay, we left the place. The bridal shower said bye, whatever, and we were on our way out to eat. It was all of us in the car. I remember my mom's silver Honda. I'll never forget that car. But yeah, okay. And my mom was driving, my dad's in the passenger seat, and we're in the back, and we're on our way to go get something to eat. And we go to this place called Chocolate Royale. Oh my goodness, you guys. I used to love this restaurant so much. And the restaurant had a whole bunch of glass and like chandeliers and stuff so okay so we were at the restaurant we all were sitting down and eating everything and I just remember us talking having a great time laughing just all being happy that my dad was there and then all of a sudden like all you hear is boom and the huge it was like in the restaurant it was like a huge glass um, door or window or whatever yeah a huge glass window and it shattered and then we're just like okay like let's just leave so I remember us paying our tab and leaving it was so scared that we were all frightened like everybody and we're going home and we're all in the same car and we finally get home and when we pull into our driveway driveway is like our driveway was like one gate and you had to drive a long while till you get to the next gate and like the gates open or whatever and then there's the um parking lot so what we drove through the first gate and we just heard like kind of like some booms like boom boom i just remember that and then we go through the next gate and you guys as soon as we go through the gate like i'm not even exaggerating our car not blows up but it literally lifts off the ground like whatever like exploded was just so powerful that our car was lifted off the ground and i just remember landing back down and my mom's just like everybody get out the car get out the car so we all get out the car and i and i just remember my mom thinking like there's a a bomb in our car and then so we're just all out the car and we don't know what to do and then next thing you know my maid at that time or my nanny runs out naked and is screaming oh my god the wedding is over the wedding is over oh, I don't know. oh god she's 
and she's calling my dad, oh God. She's like, oh God, who that? And y'all, I will not lie to y'all. She had nothing on but a towel, titties jiggling, everything. And I'm just like, what is going on? I was so terrified. So then, in the midst of that, all we see is things flying, flying up from the ground. Like, literally bombs. And we're just like, oh my goodness, what is going on? So what had happened was, um, the place behind our house was, and this is how close we lived to the place, was like a little army place or something like that. And I guess, I can't really remember like what exactly happened. Maybe I should have looked it up or asked somebody. But I remember uh, my mom saying that bombs were buried under the ground and it overheated so the bomb started exploding so so i mean at this time we didn't even know what it is we were just terrified so we're just like my mom's just like okay we gotta go you know the glass were breaking and everything we just i just remember us running that's all i remember is us running all of us and all you're seeing hearing is screams and explosions like, it was just so scary it was like one of those movies where the world is coming to an end yeah it was so scary like you just think like okay life is over like what's what's <laughs> you know what i'm saying like so i mean i just remember running 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 when you're panic it's like hard for you to believe what's going on so like you're not you can't really concentrate or run like you you want to my one chinese slipper i had on i wore these cute slippers they looked like they were asian and they were black and red and they had a little hill on them and i was trying to run in them my mom was like take off those shoes come on we gotta go and i was so like oh shoes can you imagine at that time i was really not trying to take off my shoes but anyway so we're just running and um my mom's like okay we're going to the pastor's house so because our pastor lived right by us so okay we were just running Am I a horrible storyteller or what? Anyway, so we're just running, running, running. And we finally get to the pastor's house, you know, trying to find safety. I don't even know why we we're going there, but we just didn't know what was going on. So we get there. There's still bombs going off. And and just that's all you hear is bomb and screaming. So we get there and um, he has this huge tent. And I just remember them pushing us in the gate like, come on, come on, follow him, follow him. And we all were like laying down under a tent. And what's crazy is I remember our pastor saying that he had so much oil in his, um, like, so much gas, like, I guess because he used it to refill whatever, whatever, maybe his generator or something. So much gas, like, in his parking lot or garage and stuff like that, that it was just God that the whole house didn't explode or a bomb hit it. So, okay, I just remember us hiding there for a long time. And you know, just like, oh my goodness, until a whole bunch of cars pull up. And I just remember like, I remember my mom being so calm and talking to us and hugging us and just really talking um, talking us through and we're just praying. And then, okay, so, and oh my goodness, I skipped a part. Can you believe, when we were all running, we are like, oh my God, where's Bio? I don't know if you know my brother. He was trying to go back to save the dog our dogs and we're just like my mom is just like bio you have to leave the dogs right now we gotta go so after we're hiding i mean not hiding but you know trying to get safety under the tent or whatever cars pull up just i remember three cars pulling up and my mom and dad saying get in the car get in the car. and my dad driving and we're just following a whole bunch of cars and when I say at this time it was dark and bombs are still going off so while my um while my dad was driving, I just remember. And do you know what's crazy, you guys? In church, I had just memorized my first Bible scripture. Well, I mean, I knew Bible scriptures, but this this one just kind of stuck to me for some reason. So when we were in the car and my dad was driving, and all I could hear was screaming, and my dad put it, saying, put your head down and pray. Put your head down and pray. Do not look up. But of course, I was, you know, um, a nosy child, and I had to look up. So, But when I looked up, you guys, all I could, I swear to you, all I could see was people crying and screaming and fire everywhere and, um, and people jumping all over our car just begging for help. But of course you can't stop. It was the most terrifying thing. But anyway, my dad was just saying, put your head down, put your head down and pray. And I, all I could think about was the scripture and the scripture was, 
I am the bread of life, and he who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. I just remember saying it over and over and again, I am the bread of life. I'm the bread of life. Yeah, all I can hear was screaming and crying. I remember being so terrified, but when I was saying that prayer over and over again, I was feeling like I started to feel more calm. And my mom was just talking to us. My mom was praying out loud, like in the spirit, like mountain of fire prayer. So finally, we pull up to like some place really, really far. I really can't even remember. And I just remember going into the place, like you know how you, I was so young, but I just remember going to into the place and a whole bunch of people being there. Like we were there for safety or whatever. And um, I remember them handing out oranges, peeled oranges. And I remember everybody, it's like really dark in there. There was no light. And it was just people lighting candles and people handing out food. And I remember all the grown-ups, me peeking into one room and all the grown-ups were in the room watching the news and the president was talking. And I remember listening to him. It was President Obasanja at the time of Nigeria. And I remember listening to him and I remember him saying that people were so scared that they thought that they didn't know what was going on, so they thought that our country was under attack. So they were just killing themselves. Like the people in the villages and stuff like that that didn't really know what was going on, they were just jumping into the lakes and just drowning because they didn't know what else to do or where to go. And they were really scared. And then, okay, so I don't even remember what happened that night. I think we ended up spending the night there and that morning going back to our house. And I remember when we went back to our house, just seeing Okay, I remember us going in the basement and to make sure our dogs were okay and the dogs were okay because my brother wanted to know so bad. And then I remember us just looking everywhere else and seeing so much glass shattered and everything broken and just like, wow. And at that time, I think we had been getting ready to move to um, the island already, the island, Lekki Island of Nigeria. So, I mean, of Lagos. So it was just kind of like, okay, well, time to move and I just remember it being so devastating I just remember thinking to myself like I will never forget this and it's just such a blessing that I was able to be with my family and to experience that it just gave me a, at a young age a whole different outlook on life it was just like oh my goodness this could really be taken away from you at any time and you know this is why I always talk about God to you guys because I mean he has really taken me out of so many tough situations and till this day I still pray the same scripture when I'm feeling scared or anything I just know like I'm gonna be good because he got my back so yeah um I'm sorry if the story was long. I just wanted to really share that with you guys because it's just one of the stories that's just so bizarre about my life. And trust me, there's so much more. But yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much. And hi to all my subscribers and all the new ones. And thanks so much for you guys' participating. Shun, blah, blah. Um, I'm so happy when you guys comment and tell me what you think about my videos and yeah so like 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 and subscribe and tell a friend about keeping up with Nikos I hope you're keeping up guys and also just wanted to thank you for all the beautiful comments on my other videos and also do not be afraid to comment and tell me what you would like to see next or what you don't like <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching Mwah. My check one two one two. Is that you on my screen or you a fool? Trying to rap. I don't know how to rap. I just gotta keep it.